All right. <clears throat> Welcome to meditation. Today, my background is the beautiful seaside uh, in La Jolla, La Jolla, California. And <clears throat> uh, last meditation and today's meditation, I'm drawing some inspiration from a book that was an early uh, find in my spiritual journey called The Prophet by Khalil, K-A-H-L-I-L, -L, Gibran. And it's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful spiritual writing and the context of it is that a, a yogi, you could say, or a, um, a wise man named Al-Mustafa. It says, Al-Mustafa, the chosen and the beloved, who was a dawn unto his own day, had waited 12 years in the city of Orphalis for his ship, that was to return and bear him back to the isle of his birth. So this very wise man has been living in this village, in this town for 12 years. And he's the wise, uh, the sage of the, of the people. And so whether it's metaphorical or what it is, but his ship has come and now he's going to leave after 12 years. And 12 years is a time cycle that you find in many of the yogic texts that we go through 12 year cycles. So you might look at your own life and uh, contemplate that. And so he's about to leave the town. And so the priestess who of the temple uh, comes down to the harbor with all of the townspeople. And they say, we'd like to ask you a few questions before, uh, before you go. And so the baker asks of work and toil, the parent asks of raising children, you know, seeking the advice. And I wanted to read a couple passages um, from the lawyer. The lawyer comes, no, let's see here. Um, oh, the judge, the judge comes and says, speak to us of crime and punishment, crime and punishment. And I'm just going to read a couple passages from it. I'm not going to read the whole passage. But the, the, the spirit, the backdrop of all of these passages is that he says that inside each one of us, there is an animal nature, a human nature, and a divine nature. And that these three elements are in each one of us. And that... <clears throat> Although we look at each other as separate, in fact, we're all interconnected. And he talks about a, um, a tree. He says, a single leaf that withers on the tree is known to have withered by the entire tree. And so humanity is all interconnected. And so he talks about um, you know, if someone does something wrong, it's very possible they've been wrong. If someone is harmed, they had some involvement with it. You know, that we're all intertwined in all that happens. And so it's the, um, it's that spirit of looking at life and knowing that we're all a part of everything. So focusing in on breath, if there's any holding in your physical body, a few shoulder rolls can help release that, neck rolls, and link the movement to your breathing. I'm going to throw a twist in there, twist first lower spine mid-spine, head and neck. 
Back to center, other side. You can use your arms to help deepen the twist. Back to center. The key to meditation in the yoga path is slow breath. So consciously slowing down your breathing as much as is comfortable. As our breath slows, our clarity of mind increases. Begin to focus in on sensation, holding your eyes still, become aware of the light in the back of your eyelids, shapes, colors, or if your eyes are open, gazing at beautiful colors and shapes around you. Enjoying sensation. Awareness of sounds around you. Enjoying the sounds, noticing when you label them with thoughts and how that's different than just experiencing the sensation, sensation, different function of mind than thought. So feel that difference, be aware of it. Bring some movement into your belly as you breathe, also your chest. We often hold energy in the belly and the navel and in our chest, so open up, bring movement there. And now let's bring in our imagination to become aware of our subtle body. In the last few episodes of the meditations, we went through all the different chakras, the energy centers. So choose one, one chakra, one energy center. Give it a beautiful color, a sound. Visualize, imagine yourself inside this chakra, this vibrant energy. It surrounds you. And as you breathe in and out, you draw in this beautiful color, you draw in the energy of that chakra. As you exhale, you release, trusting in the health and the energy of the prana, the life force that sustains us.
slow, controlled breathing. Thoughts come and go, stay rooted in sensation and imagination, visualization. Now in this quiet space, I'll read one of the passages and just allow the imagery, the sentiments to add to your meditation. So the prophet is speaking. Oftentimes have I heard you speak of one who commits a wrong as though he were not one of you, but a stranger unto you and an intruder upon your world. But I say that even as the holy and the righteous cannot rise beyond the highest, which is in each one of you, so the wicked and the weak cannot fall lower than the lowest which is in you also. As a single leaf turns not yellow, but with the silent knowledge of the whole tree, so the wrongdoer cannot do wrong without the hidden will of you all. Life is a procession we all walk together towards our highest self. You are the way and the way fairer. And when one of you falls down, he falls for those behind him, a caution against the stumbling stone. Yes, indeed, he falls for those ahead of him, who though faster and surer of foot, yet removed not the stumbling stone. Bringing in the sentiment, the feeling of the interconnectedness we all share. None of us goes higher than the highest in all of us. And none of us goes lower than the lowest in all of us. Deep, slow, controlled breath, imagination and sentiment, feeling.
one more passage. And you who would understand justice, how shall you, unless you look upon all deeds in the fullness of light? Only then shall you know that the erect and the fallen are but one man standing in twilight between the night of his lower self and the day of his highest self. And know that the cornerstone of the temple is not higher than the lowest stone in its foundation. Now we'll shift to the observer meditation. To do this on the inhale, being aware of yourself, the observer. You can inwardly repeat, I am. On the exhale, just allow your body to release, relax. And on the inhales, as you become conscious of yourself, the observer, note that you are not the physical world around you. You're not limited to your physical body. You're the observer of thoughts. They are not you. You're the observer of sensations. So root yourself deeply into the witness, the observer of all that comes and goes in your consciousness. It's easy to fall into a train of thought, to get lost in thought. When you notice that that has happened, simply bring awareness back to yourself, who is the observer of thought.
It lasts two minutes. You either continue with the observer meditation or go back to any of the earlier visualization or concentration techniques. Now beginning our transition, either to you continuing to meditate on your own or coming out of the meditation and transitioning to another activity. It's always nice if the next activity can be one which can either be expressive of your meditative feeling, something creative or whatever that form that takes for you. and allows you to assimilate the experience of the meditation. And the spirit of the sentiment from the prophet this morning, realizing that all of everyone is inside each of us we all share a common consciousness. And the one who falls today, who trips on the rock, trips because the person ahead of them didn't move the rock. So it's still there in the road. And by them tripping, they expose the stone for those behind them. It's been an honor meditating with everyone tonight, today, and the light within me bows to and respects the light in each of you. Namaste.